All right. It's the Cares None Be Dope Podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None, and D'Eric is not here today, y'all. But we have a special guest. We have three special guests. Y'all know Steve Carl, everybody, the Bulldog. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You, you actually, you don't got the Bulldog face no more. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk about that. Yeah, it look more like a poodle. Uh, so y'all know Steve. Uh, we also have DJ Boogie Knights, also known as the Trail Washington. How you doing, baby? Doing good, doing good. Happy to be here. You, you good? I'm doing great, man. We got some doing good shit great. to talk about today, don't we? Um, yeah, we do. You All right. know. <laughs> All right. And then we also have Rob, Rob Lighton, one of my personal good friends. I just my roommate as well. How you doing, brother? Can I complain? How about you? I'm good, man. You know, we got some good shit to talk about Let's today. Do this. All right. So the reason why I specifically wanted y'all, and we didn't necessarily need D'Eric on this episode, is because he didn't, along with uh, one of our good buddies, Mark Coleman, he he also didn't do the uh, cares uh, the the seventy five hard challenge. I wonder why. I mean, you should probably hit him up one day. <laughs> but uh, so we all did the seventy five hard challenge, did or doing. So you and I started. What, what day did we start? Uh, I don't know. We finished on the nineteenth of August. I can't remember what when we exactly started. I can look if you want. No, so we, yeah, so we finished on the nineteenth. Sometime in June. You you what you uh, you got what like two days or something? Tomorrow's my last day. Tomorrow's your last yeah, day. Yeah, I started a week after you. Yeah, I think exactly one week. Yeah. And so we we gotta talk about this. Mm. <laughs> Robert also started with us the same day. <clears throat> yeah. What happened, Rob? Well, uh, don't leave your reading to the end of the night. How about that? <laughs> Had four pages in and uh, decided to fall asleep and woke up about five hours later and per the rules. Got to start over. So I was on day 12 when that happened, and then I've just been doing it ever since. So today is actually day 81, but it's actually 68 if it's being true. Uh, so to talk about the, the, what the app said, how you felt when the app <laughs> hit you up. Well, not going to lie, I, did, I pushed. Yeah, I did it. So the, the app gives you two different options. Did you finish or did you fuck up and say, no, nah, you're done. Start over. Wait, 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 hold on. So, so you at first you thought about huffing it? I did. Oh, okay, real time. <laughs> I did, because I was like, oh, I can just read it when I wake up and it's good. And I was like, nah, that's not how the rules work. And then so I thought, the then say? I thought about YouTube, and I was like, nah, I can't screw on YouTube. So that's how it works. Yeah. So, so how does it? Because that actually happened to me too. Yeah. All of us. Have, yeah. We talked about it before. Yeah. We've all experienced the. Are you? Did, did you? Did you did do you, it? Did you do it? Are you sure don't, you did it? Don't uh -huh. cheat yourself. It is like, hey, hey, hey. Don't be a bitch with the bitch voice. I think it mentioned yeah. the bitch voice. Yeah, so if you say, yes, I did it, then it'll ask you again. Yeah. Are you sure you did it? Don't be a bitch. So that's what I, I did. I think it, yeah, I so didn't think it does yes, it again. I think it was like two times. It might be. It I think it was two times. It was like, are you sure? So I know uh, that happened to me, and I was a little worried, and I actually had did this shit, but because it was wording it like that, I'm like, so let me ask you, do you think it had anything to do with the time so as long as you got it done, because I know we all kind of argued about this. Was it finishing the challenge before midnight or before you went to sleep? I, I read it as midnight. That's how I that's read how it. I, that's you how said I you read it where it was before you go to sleep, right? It was one of Andy's podcasts. He said that as long as you do it before you finish, before you go to bed for the night, that's when it's, it's over. How did you read it? I did midnight as midnight. well. Midnight? But I also didn't listen to that podcast, so... Right, you know, right. if I would have heard that, then my says midnight. On it, yeah, like, but I. But if I listen to that from quits, you know the you know, creator, then cold, oh, so. Right, right. So, so, <laughs> hey, so, so for those people who don't know, <laughs> we're gonna get into that. For those people who don't know, Steve, I'm gonna let you do it. What is the 75 hard challenge? 75 hard challenge is a mental toughness challenge. It requires you to drink a gallon of water per day. Do two exercises, 45 minutes long, one indoor, one or one outdoor minimum. Could be one indoor, outdoor, or both outdoor. Uh, read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. Um, you have to eat clean, no alcohol. And, and a progress pick. And a progress pick, yeah. No cheat so, meals. No cheat meals, yeah. Yep. Like, so uh, the, the, the food is a little bit open to interpretation. Like, uh, you know, it says to follow a diet. So I think everyone here probably has our own version of that, but. Yeah, uh, and you have to com complete that every day for 75 consecutive days. You fuck up in any way, shape, or form, nine pages, you start over, as Robert saw, unfortunately. <laughs> Four. Four. So let me let me tell y'all a story. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so it's one thing that Rob, he fucked up the reading. And, and listen, even though it's a fuck up, I can understand if you start 11 o'clock, which is probably the fuck up, try to get it done early, but whatever, you have until 12 to get it done. So you're reading, and let's say you're tired throughout the day, and you fall asleep reading, which I can, I can obviously see happen. I can see that happening. Yeah. 
I, I, I understand that. Somebody that I know knows someone else who's doing it with them, and they fucked up by not taking the picture, okay. right? Which is ridiculous to, in, in my opinion. <laughs> That's like the easiest, literally take half a second. <laughs> Which, Snap. fine. They fucked up. They had to start over like 15 days, right? This, they, they did it again. <laughs> they did it twice. <laughs> How do you not take this picture twice? What is that? I don't understand that. I, I don't know. Yeah. You just got to figure out how. I mean, obviously, that should be the first thing you do every morning at yeah. that point. Literally, it's, it's, I think it's, it's the first thing you got to do. It's just the first thing I do. I do it. I, I, what do y'all do first? Because I know I, I try to do the reading first. I try to knock that out. As soon as I get up, I, I read. That's what I do. What do no, y'all do? I, I exercise I, first. Yeah, exercise. Exercise. Do my exercise. first workout. When do y'all read? Late. <laughs> I'm still early. I exercise, shower, then read. Yeah. What about you? Exercise, exercise, read, food, shower. Okay. Okay. Uh, Coleman, what, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that did. Coleman was like, man, I know me, man. I, I, I drink. I, I can't do it, bro. <laughs> it's like, man, all right. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, but how do you fuck up the picture? I so, don't know. That would be very devastating because that's the literally the easiest part it is. of it. It requires nothing, but... So I, I, so I'm sitting there trying to process as that like wow and at first the word out of their mouth was I'm quitting, like I can't and I would understand how you would be extremely frustrated at yourself if you fucked up over the easiest thing on there, but you can't quit. Yeah, no, I agree. I give this person credit because that is an easy one to if you again if you're going to give yourself a pass you could certainly do that and that would be the one that you wouldn't feel like you. I'm just saying you could. I, I, I give the person credit at least for acknowledging that they messed up and saying that. But yeah, how do you do that twice? I, I don't understand. It's that ridiculous. Yet. And then I like you can't quit just because you have to figure out how to take a so, goddamn picture. Right, 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 right. So, so here's the thing: they ended up not quitting. They, they're gonna go extra hard. You, you under no circumstance can you fuck up a third time. No. Not that. You gotta just not that. You, you gotta, gotta quit. You gotta you quit. You're not allowed you to do it. You can't take the fucking picture. It's a picture. It takes. I don't understand. Three seconds. I put a timer on my phone, put it on my sink. I'll be in that moment like, pop. You did y'all do the side pics too? I take a video I and I do oh, a 360. Oh, okay, yeah. oh that's good. Yeah. Just set it up, take the video, and then I take a picture with a timer. And that's what I now use. Now, let me ask you this. App. When did you. I know your answer, and I, and I know physically because I saw yours. When did you notice. The, the changes. When did you start saying, like, damn, okay, this is really something? For me, I it took a while, honestly. I'd probably say damn near a month in before I really, like, I noticed the changes physically a month in to my actual, like, self, to my mind, like, the way I was thinking, probably, like, two weeks. Like, at that point, like, not drinking every day, damn near, because that's pretty much now, what I was Now, were you doing. drinking before, like, every oh, day? I was drinking heavy. Like, damn oh, near, wow. damn near, like, a half a case of Topo Chico's a day, if not mm. a full case. Just, just, it was just, like, what I did. You know, I just fell into... A habit of okay, like finish my work day. All right, let me go. And that's a lot. That's most people. Yeah, like finish my work day. We have day, a good buddy. Uh, he's a tall, uh, uh, <laughs> slender white man who does it too. No, he, he loves that. He loves nice right. beer every day. I think he's yeah. finally he does it like later every day. So that I mean that's what that's what I started doing. <laughs> and literally, literally, literally two two weeks, three weeks after like into the challenge, I one I just felt better. I didn't wake up feel like shit every day. I started waking up earlier. I was like, holy shit, like wow, this is great. And then I started to, like, I, I thought clear. Working was a bit easier because, you know, I wasn't clouded and I just felt better. So that's when I started noticing, you know, things mentally and, like, just mentality-wise. And then a month later, I started looking better. I'm like, all right, like, this is the sauce. This is the, this is the truth. This is the shit. I feel good. And, you know, I think I messaged you one time. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember how you long it was. You going in. back and forth a lot. Yeah, a lot. And I was like, I literally feel untouchable. Like, nobody can tell me anything. <laughs> I was like, not, there's not a human on earth that can't tell me, like, can tell Shit. me anything. Mm -hmm. Not a thing. I'm, I'm just the coldest human ever. Right, right. Period. And I still feel like that. Yeah, and I will feel like that for the rest of my life. Yeah, and there's not a, a shot anybody. And even my own mom. Mom, I love you. You, you know, if you're watching this, but. You ain't about that life. <laughs> I'm not I'm like, it's not possible. It is not possible. And it's because of this. I don't think, personally, I genuinely do not believe, like, I would have ever come to that like such a solid conclusion if I like hadn't had started this and like continued to actually apply myself and do it because it's real easy to quit oh yeah it's real yeah. easy to quit day five was my hardest day I almost I almost fucked up oh, what happened? but I challenged myself I challenged myself so every Friday pretty much all summer like religiously I'll go to the same brewery with my one of my good friend one of my good boys another one worked there we would just go get fucked up 
like free beer all night. I'm talking, get there at four o'clock, <laughs> leave at midnight. Like I, I'm drinking fucking goblets of <laughs> beer. Like not even fucking with like actual goblets of beer. And that Friday, the the week I started, I was like, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna go. I'm still gonna go. I'm gonna meet my buddy, but I'm not gonna drink. Hardest hardest experience of my life. Mm. I'm sitting there watching this man just slam beers. My boy slamming beers. I'm over here drinking a Sprite. At least you went though. That's good. But I went. I wanted. I wanted to see. I wanted to see. I'm like, you know, like this. If I can do this, I can do it. Period. Yeah. I fucking did it. I was close. I was close. One beer came down. I saw that motherfucker. It was glistening. You know, (laughs) (laughs) the glass was sweating, and I'm like, like I can put that down right right now in like two seconds. You know, I I can do it. I can do it real quick. So here's a question. So how how are you gonna Moving forward, now you finish in two days. Are you like dying to go back to that, or mm, like in honestly, a moderation? No, I. After that day, it just like it, it it made sense. Like I don't really have a desire to go and okay. just like get messed up. Like now, well, I have a drink at like a Cubs game. You know, I just have a beer. Sure. Okay. You know, I got, so you're like, making a permanent. Change. But I'm making a permanent. Change. Like I'm not. Okay. Uh, d- on Saturday, after after I'm done, or like at midnight tomorrow, you will not see me going to. You're not just going to run. The I'm not bar, just yeah. gonna go grab a you know yeah. a case of Heineken or something yeah. like that. Like okay. nah, I'm gonna drink a gallon of water, work out, oh, you yeah. know, eat some good food. I I just genuinely don't have a desire. I would appreciate being able to do it socially, you know, right. occasionally with friends, things like that. But outside of that, like, don't nice. mean shit to me anymore. That's dope. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm gonna ask you next, Rob. But I I think the reason. Where, where the confidence comes from, for me and me and Steve talk about this all the time, is when, when you ask other people, and you actually brought the perspective to my brain, because I'm like, man, no, everyone else is like such a, they don't even want to talk about it, they don't, they're scared, and he was like, no, that actually, I actually like that, because then it kind of shines a light on what I'm doing that most people won't even fathom the thought, like to them, it's not even like, possible to do that, and that is what gives me like, and I'm already a pretty confident human being compared to the average person, that shit, like you said, puts you on such a level. It's like, damn, I'm like one of like literally, I'm like one percenter as far as my mindset. Right. So, yeah. I'm, so I'm like, so that to me is why I think all of us feel that way is because we've all talked to everyone and everyone's like, oh, I couldn't drink that much water. It's like, no, no, you physically can't. Oh, I don't have, I don't, I don't have time for two 45 minute workouts. You know, like. Like well, so, there's some lazy fucking bums that don't <laughs> that got nothing but time on our hands. Like, no, you got to second. You got to wake up extra early. You got to stay up late. Like, yeah, you just got to make it happen. And yeah. then do it the next day. And then do it the next again, day. Again and again and again. Seventy five days, right? right? Let me ask you, Rob. When did you notice the the, the the big changes, whether it was physical or mental? What? How many days in? Or or was it the fuck up? So physical, I would say day thirty one. Because I took a picture and I I was doing side pictures and I could because I used I to think have you showed me I used yeah. to have a little gut uh, still kind of do every once in a while but beer yeah hey six hundred and fifty days yesterday haven't had a drink but that's crazy yeah that's crazy <laughs> I love it yeah if you don't want to drink don't drink you can still hang out with the people like you said yeah I do that I still go out I hang out to blast too my bleacher bums yeah I, that's what I'm saying I, you be at the Cubs game I'm at the Cubs game all the do, time right. they they try to hand me beers all the time and I'm like nah I'm good I'm good. But wait, 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 there's another thing you gave up too, uh, which is I think was even more powerful for you because yeah. What did you? What else did you give up? I gave up the weed, and that was actually a little tougher, wasn't it? That at was first? a lot tougher. <laughs> that was a lot tougher. Uh, I was for the first like ten days after that. It was it was I was pretty pretty intense. I would say it wasn't. I, it was really hard for me to to give that one up. I'm about to put this out there, and I hope you don't you don't get upset. So you had t- I think you went out of town with some family mm-hmm. for a wedding. Mm-hmm. And the reason, so you, the reason, if I'm not mistaken, you weren't stopping the weed for this challenge. That wasn't the thing. It was like a work thing or something, right? It was, it was, it was combined. I mean, you do, you also challenged me. You both did. You said, "Hey, cut it out. You don't need it." And I said, "Nah, eh, okay. Why not? One more thing to put in there. One more thing to say. Hey, you can discipline yourself. You can build that mental toughness. You can build that mental game. You can get stronger just by not doing something that you really want to do." Hey, hey, hey! What did I make you do at the crib? Which one? For the weed, oh. oh yeah, I had to write it all down, and it's on my, on, it's on the fridge at home. Uh, I will not smoke weed until I finish seventy five hard. And he's been crushing it. And I tell y'all, he he smoked y'all. So I was so very proud about that. To me, I, I was when I noticed the change is when, when you was like, man, I fucked up on on with the with the challenge. And I remember texting Steve, like, I'm actually super proud of that. Yeah. Because a lot of people probably would just fuck that up. Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe not. If you're doing this challenge, are you, how many people do you think would actually 
admit it because wh- why are you even doing it in the first place? I admitted it to him the next, I'm just that, saying, like, next I'm morning. Saying, I guess you could, in his scenario, you could rationalize it. I could see someone being like, again, like I fell asleep, but I woke up and I knocked it out real quick. Like and it was still three in the morning or whatever. Like I, I'm just saying, I could see someone giving themselves a pass there. I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm saying I, I could see that happening. You just skip a forty-five minute workout. There's no, Mm-mm. there's no dancing around Mm-mm. that. Like you know, what I mean. So, uh, I, but still, credit to you, yeah, for for not. You, you said you thought about doing it. You clicked the button. Yeah, I remember. So I remember personally, Steve. I remember I texted you because that, that was when in the beginning before I hurt myself. I was doing forty-five minute uh, stairmaster or my or or five k right yeah. every day, and then I and I actually had to slow down. I kept it's doing the walks crazy. because I fucked my knee up playing right. ball. But I remember texting you one day, like, man, like, I feel exhausted. Like, my body was exhausted. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna keep doing it, but, <laughs> but I'm like, but if you just truck through, and then didn't it feel like it got, it started to get easy? Mm-hmm. I would say so. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, oh, you just gonna, cause you're gonna knock it out. So, what I've learned, well, before I say that, when do you feel like you noticed a change? I, again, I, if I'm being honest, did this more for, to lose weight. That was my, like, major, uh, the attraction to me. So, I was kind of looking at that as my guide, and I probably noticed that. Um, I mean, I remember I texted you, and I, like probably like day ten or something, and I was discouraged. You know, I'm like, this is not, I'm not seeing it, and I'm putting in a hell of a lot of effort, and I'm not seeing any results, and that kind of messed me up a little bit. There you, kept, I, you, you kind of, you know, you you pushed me along, you gave me some encouragement, the encouragement I needed, and um, and then shortly after that, it was like, you know, it just started. Because I think what happens is, if I know a little bit about losing weight. I think what happens is it takes some time for your body to go. Uh, I think it's comatose, ketosis, ketosis. ketosis, ketosis, ketosis yeah. Excuse me. So it just takes the fat. Yeah, yeah. It, it has to get going. This, oh, we we bought we bought this life. Okay, all right. So then I think it just has to catch up to that. But uh, you had sent me a picture, and I'm yeah. like, oh, it's clearly. And I'm so used to that now. I'm like, oh, bop, 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 and I circled all the spots. Right, right, right. And I don't know if you did it on purpose. You sent me a picture. But you didn't tell me which one was the the, the first yeah. one or the yeah, second. You did yeah, it on yeah. purpose. I, I just wanted you to see, yeah, if you could even tell the difference. Yeah. Okay, so you were like, let me just throw it without letting him know. Yeah. Yeah, and and I was because you said you it would have been devastating had I guessed wrong. For sure. Yeah, to me it was pretty obvious though. But I'm also so into the whole body thing. I've been on that shit for years yeah, now. Yeah, so. But. Uh, so when did you say you noticed it again? Probably like, oh, like. Day 10 is when we talk, let's say. So then day probably like day 14, I started to actually see, and then it was fast, yeah. That two-week thing. Yeah, I would say it's about two weeks mm-hmm. is when you start to notice. Yeah. Uh, when did it ever, when did you start getting into the, the mental part? Because I know you did it for the physical. When did you start realizing, oh, shit, it really is a mental game? Uh, I mean, again, it was probably when I went on that vacation. And, oh, yeah, tell, and tell the story of the, of the rain. <laughs> Yeah, no, so I, I went on a trip to Myrtle <laughs> Beach, and, and it was a 16-hour drive, and I was telling these guys earlier, but I had to I had to position our departure time so that I could, you know, do a workout at, like, 1 in the morning, and then we do it, did our 16-hour drive and leave myself enough time to do another workout. Um, but anyway, when I was out there, yeah, I, I got caught in a, like, I don't know what the hell you'd call it. Like, like a you know, monsoon Here it would be a tornado <laughs> out there. It was, yeah, like a monsoon or something. These things like one of the worst they had ever that's had. What the, that's what the people on the golf course said, that they said it was the worst rain that they'd ha- he'd had <laughs> since they'd, he's been there 10 years. And they're, like, on the coast, you know. So it was it was hilariously bad, the rain. And and just had to keep on going, you know. And I'm sure we were all in that shit. You know, what I was in a tropical storm, but, you know. No, yeah, that's what I, I got caught in some rains, but never nothing like that. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck it. We're going we're gonna to finish this walk. There was a couple times where I, because you could choose one outside and one inside. Mm-hmm. And then I think you and I a couple times, we're like, you know what, fuck it. Let's just knock it out. Fuck it. So, like, I could have done one on the inside and whatever or went to the gym. And then maybe if it cleared up, go later. But I thought in the, in the, in the essence of the challenge, no, go do it now. Fuck that yeah. raincoat. That's what I'm saying, right? right? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what happened. So, we had, there was a raincoat that we have at the house. And, and I was going to wear it. And then he like kind of threw a little shot, just kind of fun. I don't even think he was serious. I wasn't, <laughs> not at all. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Took the raincoat off. <laughs> like I was just fucking around. I was like, but in the spirit of what this shit Fuck is, it. let's get wet. Uh, the challenge, so definitely life changing. A hundred percent. Life changing. Yes. Life changing. Yep. What is the number one thing you've gotten from these cha- from this challenge? I, number- again, I think the the recipe for. Uh, you know, I, I treated my body like a dumpster for 
10 years straight and I now have the formula on how to get it where I want it and keep it that way. And that's empowering me because I, before I kind of didn't, I didn't know how to be where I wanted to be. Now I know, you know, so. Yeah. And I remember you and I were talking, it's like, literally you can, I think you, the words you said were you can like erase 20 years of just shit habits. 75 in two days. In 75 days. That's crazy. You can erase it, but then you have to go serious. And I would argue with the food, you probably went the most serious. Yeah. Yeah. Because you were. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ain't nobody here going to tell me yeah, shit yeah, about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? What, what was your, your diet regimen for this? Because you, you went hard. So, uh, yeah, I would eat <laughs> nothing for breakfast. I would eat a just a grilled chicken breast. Lunch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. Just, just like just a single chicken like, breast. Was it seasoned? At least? <laughs> it was seasoned. Okay. Yeah, okay. St. Elmo's steak season, okay. but it was just just a hunk of chicken. And then for dinner, I, I'd be you know like whatever. a sensible it meal. Be like something like you know chicken and carrots and rice or you know something like that. It was nothing nothing wild, but uh, I, I order from HelloFresh, so it'd be like one of those. Reasonably healthy meals, and that was it. So I'd, I'd say my average calorie intake probably was probably a thousand in a day at most, maybe eight hundred. And, and you were aiming for fifteen, right? Fifteen was my goal. It just became easy to not even get there, like because again, if you cut the snacks and all that dumb mm -hmm. shit out, like though, like and you're eating clean, it's really not. And then my it, body just didn't hey, get hungry. Speaking of snacks, I, I got some cookies for y'all in the car. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yes. I, I swear to God, I, was, I have one. That's a know. weird thing. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, hey, you want hey, some? Y'all can't have no. Yeah, I can't have, 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 have no uh, damn cookies. Mark, what you trying cookies. to do, bro? I, I got one day left trying to sabotage. Yeah. You see this guy? Hey, come get these. Come get these cookies. I'm gonna give you a look. Yeah, you know what? Made a pack. You just can't have it until tomorrow. Yeah, I might crack into that at midnight. You know, like twelve oh one tomorrow night. Just have one cookie. What did you guys do for eating? Like what was the like your you go Rob? I uh so it was just meat, vegetables, fruit, uh lots of granola. I know we ate a lot of yogurt and granola together. Um and then rice. Other, like, otherwise no other carbs. Okay. Nothing else so like you that. Cut carbs. And okay. I would I would usually eat one meal a day and that's it. Okay. That'll do it. Damn. Well then you we'll put up there with I you. did I counted calories. So I figured out how many I needed to consume a day, which was like about three thousand, because I was just I was still hard just, Yeah, I was still going hard. And then I cut that to like fifteen hundred. Oh day. shit! So you're fifteen hundred too? And yeah. And, okay, okay. So I have a, I have a, I track it for how much I burn in a day. So I would burn. I try to burn fifteen to fifteen hundred to a th to two thousand calories a day while only consuming fifteen hundred. Mm. Oh shit! So then you're you having a deficit of like yeah. five hundred. Deficit of like yeah, five hundred to a thousand roughly. Depending right, on how so much yeah, I but, you're, but you're working, and but I'm you're, you're putting muscle on. Yeah, I'm putting mu I'm putting muscle on. I've, I was I've, at the very beginning. I was I was working out to get more lean because I started to get, as you can yeah. imagine, like my gut was sure. fucking disgusting from all the beer and mm -hmm. like seltzers yeah. and shit I drank, and I wanted to lose you know some chest weight as well. So at the beginning, it was just trying to get it to melt off, you know, fall off calorie deficit. Stop eating fast food completely. Stop drinking pop. Stop drinking juice. Really, like things with sugar. Yeah. Stop drinking coffee. Yeah. Just only drink water tea ate yogurt every damn near every day chicken and broccoli like mm -hmm. that was pretty much and you all said I you did. lost like 20 yeah like 15 20 pounds as of right now gained a little bit back in muscle which right perfectly fine for me so that's why i'm like you know in the 15 area but yeah like i just it started melting and then i was like all right now it's time to build to look good yeah. and just you know i i've always preferred to be a bit of a bigger guy in general i mean i'm tall i want to yeah. be Big too, you know. I don't want people to fuck with me. I'm the nicest guy in the world, but I want you to look at me and be like, "Damn, that motherfucker going like beat my head. yeah, bro." Right. Like, I don't want to talk to you, so we good. But yeah, that's kind of where it, that's where it went for me in my journey. And now at this point, actually, I posted a picture for like the first time during the challenge. Was it yesterday on my Instagram? Like this? Yeah, yeah. Like, right. I, mean, I was like, my boy. I was like, I, f I feel fucking great. And I, <laughs> like, I was like, damn. Like, I think I think right after that picture, I like took a nice shower and I just like went outside. I just want people to see me. Yeah. Which I, so, like, so I, that, I've never done that. Was it like both your leanness and muscular? Like you, yeah, you, it you was, feel like you It was built? both. Like I, this is the first time like I've been the flattest in my stomach. I can actually start seeing like abdominal muscles yep. coming in. Never had that before in my life. My chest, a lot flatter. You know, I, I've always had a big chest. Sure. Beautiful. And like the, the lines, the cuts and things like that yeah. that I've always wanted. 
I actually see. Like I literally yesterday I cannot I cannot buy took a shower, like dressed up nicely to go do absolutely nothing but just drive around and walk around just so I could. I'm I'm, just a, I'm feel, not gonna lie to you. I, I strut around good. the house with my shirt off now every now and again. I felt good. I feel unstoppable. So I was like, fuck it. Like I'm gonna go and showcase myself. I don't care if anybody says a word to me. I don't care if nobody looked you at me. You just feel good. I just wanted to be outside yeah. feeling good because yeah. I felt fucking great. Yeah. Like incredible. Like incredible. And that's just how I continue to feel. I pretty much ate eighty percent yogurt, fruit, and <laughs> granola. No joke, yogurt, fruit, and granola. So here's if I'm being honest, I I stuck to my diet. I I did not do any bread. I didn't do any cookies, chips, pie, anything like that. I cut all that out. But if I'm being honest, I because like I still ate like so I would have like two things of yogurt. So it. And I know that I have a deeper issue going on right here. So, and I've and I've like found a way to t to like bullshit myself if I'm being honest. But I didn't deviate from my plan, which is probably my problem in the first place. I should have wrote a more defined plan and stuck to that, which I'm gonna do for the Care of None Challenge, which we're gonna talk about in a second here. Um, so I didn't deviate from my diet. So I believe I I, I finished it. But like I would have two portions of healthier shit. Yes, yeah. as, as opposed to. So we were talking before. You didn't necessarily like starve yourself you just ate better shit right like yeah. all nothing but good shit but i would you know and and, and, and granola is 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 questionable i'd sure. rather have granola and chips but it's still mm -hmm. questionable yeah i agree and i don't think anyone's gonna sit here and say you're you're a fat slob eating granola all no day. hell no however but you can, can, can go overboard with granola <laughs> uh so I, I pretty much ate that and just meat and, and vegetables and rice uh but i'll tell you what i learned most from the fucking challenge was what when you decide you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it. So before I started 75, I was doing 5Ks running. And they took about 31, 32 minutes, right? And that, and I was like, okay, bet. I, and that was like five to three point something miles. But then I wanted because I was doing all this shit socially and putting it on social media, I'm like, I wanna do I need to do 45 minutes. And I didn't want to stop. I wanted to be able to record that I did a workout for 45 minutes so then I could post it. Not lose your average time. Or and not, you're right, right, right. So what I did was I said, well, I got I to gotta do 45 minutes or I got to keep running. Right? That's awesome. And that overnight, I went from 31 minutes to, to 45. So it just, so what it taught me was it really is just a mind game. Mm -hmm. yep. It's just a matter of, and and I, I, we talked about this. Will Smith, man, I, I love him. He always said that there's two things. If you want to be a killer, you got to you got to do these two things. You got to read and you got to run. And reading, he said, the reason why reading is so vicious is because all the smartest motherfuckers in the history of ever wrote a book on how they did it. So like, why if you have anything that you anything that you could think of that you would want to work on, there's a book for it of someone who's already done it. So why not take their advice, obviously? And it's like 13 bucks, and it takes a little bit of time to read it. But then number two is running. And the reason why running is so vicious, and we've all done it, is because that voice in your fucking head, that voice is strong, too. That voice is like, you little bitch. You, we've been, and oh, I think we said this last time, what happens with that voice in your head is, you know, you got your, your devil and your, your angel, right? But the devil is the one that's actually talking to you nice. The devil's like... Oh, come on, man. Yeah. It's, just, it's just me and you, man. Come on, me and you, man. Let's go get some cookies, bro. What the fuck you running for? It's me. It's and then the angel's the one kind of calling you a bitch. Like, no, don't stop now. So so with me, I, I've, I've only stopped once since I started running the last five or six years where I didn't at least, I've slowed down, but I've only stopped one time, and that was on a hill at Nickel or over there by Peyton's, Peyton's Hill. Hill yeah. and, and, and then Javaris was like, I was like, I'm about to stop. He goes, keep going, and then I fucking push it, and it was up a hill, and it was a mile, and it was my second mile of the day. Other than that, I've never stopped. So I was like, if if you could just beat, just beat that voice, because that voice is vicious, man. That voice oh, yeah. is so vicious, especially if you always talk to yourself, and, and if you got people, your family talk to you fucked up, the world. If you can beat that, you can literally beat anything, and mm -hmm. then nothing can really, what, like, what can stop you? Because that's I, to me, that's like the most persuasive thing that you can go through is that voice in your head, right? So I just taught myself that you can literally just overnight go way further than you thought. And to the point where I ran fucking, I think I ran five, six miles, which was my all time at the, like, I'm like, I used to be 417, I just ran six miles straight, that was vicious. Great. The next day ran seven miles. So I'm like, what the, what the fuck's going on? And then maybe, I don't know, make a week later, ran 10, ten, miles. ten miles, mm -hmm. no, nine miles. 
I ran nine miles. And I remember texting you, and I was like, I just ran nine fucking miles, Steve. And to me, I don't know if I would have got there without 75 hard. And then just like a week ago, I ran another 10 fucking miles, which is insane. Because I used to be so against running. It was like the worst shit that you could do. Like, I mean, I've, I've been working out twice a day for 75 days, and that's still insane. 10 miles, there's no fucking <laughs> 10 <way>. miles, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... It's two hours. It's just... I'm good. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking nuts. I'm good. So, but but the 75 taught me, it's like, no, if, if, if you decide you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Uh, it's simple than that. So, it was definitely life-changing for me. Yeah. Left like, uh, let's talk about the new thing coming up, and let's see who's all doing it. Who's doing the Cares None Challenge 90? I'm in. I know you're in. You, are you in? What uh, is it? Oh, you don't know what it is? I don't know. I was, you've mentioned the idea to okay, me. Okay, okay. I, I, I know you, know, you know, you were one of the first people I think yeah, I've you mentioned. Yeah, told me, you told me about it. I just don't know the full. You were still so, like, right, building so, the so plan for So me and Steve were talking one day. I, I, actually, I was running. I think I might have called you running, literally yeah. running. It's very hard to understand. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Steve, I got, I got an idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, but so, you know, I'm trying to just figure out ways that, you know, to encourage motherfuckers. I don't, I don't know why I get off on that, but I like seeing people win. I don't know why. Maybe, actually, I do know the reason. It's because if you win, it, that, that makes me know I can win. And I like kind of selfishly, if you like, I like when people say, Chris, because of you, I'm killing it. That, that gives me like a fire. That gives me even more confidence. Anyway, so I'm trying to improve 75 hard because let's be honest, a lot of people don't do it. And what are the pain points? People say it's, it's too, they can't fathom 75 days in a row. And they can't fathom doing all of, of the steps. Yeah. So, right. So in the best, in the best world, you, just do it. That is, that's the best case scenario. 100%. Right? That's the best case scenario. Just, just, just figure the fuck out. But let's be honest. Niggas ain't going to do that. Yep. And if I'm being honest, if you would have told me to do 75 hard 10 years ago, I wouldn't have done it. Yep. So some people, you know, you got to gradually get them up. And I understand that. And sometimes I'm a little tough on people. And, I, and that's one thing I'm working on is that not everyone has been on that shit for 10 years, Chris. Some niggas, are this is the first time they're hearing about self-improvement. So I'm working on that myself. So I'm sitting there talking to Steve. And I'm like, I think I figured it out, man. What we have to do is give people an option to not have to go the 75 days. Because some people have a hard time with the drinking for a fucking day. Right. Some mm -hmm. people can't go a weekend. How hard was it to stop smoking weed for a week? Oof, it was rough. Right. How hard is it to go, you know, it didn't work out. So mom's like, all right, so that's what we do. What we do is we'll, we'll do it in segments. You get to choose between 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. Because then 30 doesn't seem as, it seems. No, it some seems people little, like short-term goals, you know, like, and, and, like, and that is a reasonable way to start. So then you, I guarantee you, these people are going to get to 30, and then they're going to be like, I want to do 60. Like, you know, but we all know from our experience that, the beginning's by far the hardest part. Yeah. Once you push through that, you're all good. What they say, they say the uh, the heaviest weight at the gym is the front yep. door. Yeah, And it is, which is true as fuck. So I'm like, all right, so that's what we can, I can get them. And, and then for on some Cares None Nation shit, <clears throat> I'm trying to build a nation of, of, of self-development. That's how you can get them in. Let's get, let's get them in, and then we work them up to the 90. So that's, so we give you tears. And then the second one was, some people, so we, we know someone who, who really had a problem, supposedly, with the water intake. They just, they didn't, to them, it just make no sense. And this is a very intelligent motherfucker, so he's not stupid. And he, according to him, heard some very other intelligent health person say that drinking water at a certain amount was just ridiculous and it was stupid. And I was like, I asked him, so is it hurt you? He goes, no, it doesn't hurt you. He just thinks at a certain point there is no benefit, so what's the point of doing it? The point is, though, is that people are going to have oppositions to some of these items. And you're saying that you're creating one where they can... Right, so, so, it, it yeah, so, so that's so, that's so, my yeah. point. Yeah, so, so water's so, your hang up, get it rid of. Which it. is still ridiculous, <laughs> in, in my personal opinion. <laughs> but if that's your hang up, right, yeah, it's easier to drink. So then I was like, so what we do is we can the, the cares none is more dictated to the specific individual. So so then me and Steve were going back and forth. I'm like, so you know what should we do? So we decided. I think your advice, you have to have the physical aspect of it. So, because people want to see, it's going to be easier to, for people to see transformations. Because it's one thing to say, I mentally learned a lot, but it's better when you see a phys physical. I showed him a picture of me and Steve's before and after, our, our buddy Mike. And, and I think that was what triggered him to go do it. Yeah, I showed Mike, and he, and he saw, he, and my boy got his V's. <laughs> my boy got his V's. <laughs> I was like, my boy got never, he ain't never seen no V's, nigga. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so I'm like, so this is what you do. So you got to do two workouts. I didn't preface if it had to be outside. I don't think it has to be for, for the cares none. It's got to be two 30 minutes, and it, and it can't be back to back. You got to take a picture, and you got to eat clean. That's all that you must do. Then you can pick 
the few things that you want that you need to work on. Like for me personally, one of the things that I need to work on is I want to post a piece of content every single day for 90 days for me. Or some people, like, what's, what's one of the things you're going to do? I'm going to do one where I have to reach out to someone that I haven't spoken to in over a year every day for 90 days. Basically, just go through my phone, people that I haven't talked to in years, just see what, what comes of it. Now, the know? question I have is, how do you find 90 people? I got my phone's filled with people. You, you look through your phone. You oh, look on social media. That's a good point. It's easy to find people. True. It could be, it don't even matter if it's... The dude that let us in the front door of Hakkasan one time. Like, I'm just reaching out. <laughs> oh, uh, Austin? Yeah. yeah, yeah Austin, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a weird, it's going to lead to a weird encounter that's going to probably but be a cool open, I guarantee you'd open up the networking world yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, just so, see what I'm saying? So, now yeah. it can be more dictated to the things you need to work on. Because some people, let's be honest, they don't have a problem with drinking. They can have a cocktail. So True. to them, well, well, I don't. I drink once every three months. I don't need to not drink. That doesn't do right. anything for you. Yeah. Right. And for me personally, I, the seventy-five hard challenge didn't help me when it comes to the drinking because I had stopped drinking two years ago. Right. So already, what and helped now me? You could fill it with something different. And yeah. now I could fill it with something different. Now, now what helped me is so I didn't fill it during the seventy-five hard challenge, but in the beginning, I, I definitely felt that seventy-five days in the beginning of not drinking because that shit was tough. Yeah. So that just helped me understand that I still went through that at one point, just not doing this, mm -hmm. which is still different because you got to do it all. But uh, so, but but that was a wasted opportunity of something that I could have grew from. So I'm gonna do things that I personally want to work on. You know what I'm saying? So so that's what it is, and you get to choose whatever it is, and you can do thirty, and you get a a, a product from me. If you do the ninety, then you get a, a hoodie on a house. You already know I'm in. There you go. Hey, <laughs> uh, and we're starting uh, officially on the first coming up, September first. Yep. Um, and then yeah, and I got damn. A few, I that's got, like end. Yeah, no, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> All right, challenge accepted. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck it. it. Hey, one thing I like about Rob, he go he go ride. Hey, he went to that hot chip. <laughs> oh man, the hot chip <laughs> challenge. Um, that was fun. Yeah, so that's what the Cares None B Dope ninety challenge is all about. So anybody got any questions, hit me up. If y'all know these fools, hit them up. That's going to be super dope. Uh, outside of that, man, what y'all been up to, man? Not much. I'm excited about this trip we're about to go on. Yeah. So where we, we're staying at, uh, at, we're going to Fenway. Yeah. And we're st it's, it's in Boston, which is the, the, race, the, the most racist city in the country. Uh, maybe. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> yes. I think yes. Yeah. And you used to live there. I lived there for right? six years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks like an American <laughs> History X looking yeah. motherfucker. This means not welcome. <laughs> well, yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving actually in uh, three hours. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're, we're all got some positive vibes here. You know, uh, Trail's not coming unfortunately, but Damn. the rest of us is going. Yeah, I, I was right. like, you know, I don't really want Trail to come. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I, was uh, I was actually telling somebody today how much I actually like real talk Trail. So you you got uh, a customized. Hood, uh, Cares Not Hoodie, but Boogie Night, which is your personal brand. Yeah. You're the only person I've ever done that for. Really? Uh, I, maybe, I guess, Tavares, I guess, I, with him. So that's different. But okay, so you're the second person that I felt comfortable putting their, who they're about above my, because that Cares Not is my whole soul. Like, it's, it's, right. it's who, everything about my life. And I, and I remember when I was making it, I'm like, I'm actually, pr I was like proud for you. And I was like, I kind of, I feel like he's my little mini protege. Like, <laughs> like, like I really respect, and I've told you about that. Like, I really, and then the fact that you did the 75 with no hesitation. I res anybody who's just like, I'm doing it, you get ultimate respect off top. You are you automatically in no the one person. No questions asked, just jumping nope. right. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Because what? 99%. <sighs> I'll, I'll tell you one story. I'm not going to call his name out. Now, this dude, I will tell you, he's a beast in the gym. Hard. He goes super hard. So that's so, so, and he actually, I ran into him the day that I did my first nine miles. He he saw me. He was like, oh, so we caught up, and I'm like, bro, I just ran nine miles. I'm on cloud nine. Da, 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 da. He's like, oh yeah. I'm like, you got to do the 75 hard challenge. He's like, oh, what's that? And I told him. He goes, oh, the I'm drinking, like, right? Well, he didn't say specifically, but you could just see the hesitation. He was like, ah, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, you have to do this. Like, you're like the most 75 hard person I could think of. So it's not just about the working out. No. Is I think the two most difficult things for people to give up are that you're going to have two people that are not going to do it. Ones that can't fathom giving up drinking yep. and those that don't think that they have enough time to do two 45 minute exercises. Like those are the two people that won't do it. And those are the only op like the, the arguments you're going to get. I think most people would sign up for the 
eating clean and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that'd be the hard part. It's those two that people can't get past. My grandmother said the water was outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ridiculous. You know, like the water. Like, I, that, that is like... <laughs> I don't even know what the how the hell was that. that? I thought I turned it off. Hey, he's that, that's my water. That's yeah. my water. That's perfect timing. <laughs> he says, silence your bones. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. Oh shit. What were you saying? Nah, I can't. You can't yeah, fuck that up. Um, yeah. So, but, oh, but as far as the no drinking thing, and you know, we we got good buddies that. That literally just swim in alcohol. Like I used to, <laughs> huh? I used to. You, I st- shit. Like I, I was probably the biggest alcoholic in the room. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I remember you, one day Steve was like, "I think I had a birthday party," and he was like, I, "I think I was acting good, but I had been acting fucked up for a while." And then Steve was like, "Hey, well, we was going to have to have an intervention with you." He's like, "Cause you you've been out here a while, and I guess I got real. Uh, what would you say with, with the Bahama eyes?" What, I was real, like, emotional. Oh, very emotional. Yeah, you, <laughs> it was like you the you would get so messed up, and then you'd get in your feelings, and but you'd be like not happy. Like you know, all the anything that was deep inside of you was would come rushing out. And even if I think you took it beyond where you actually were, like you know, like so, something would bother you more than it actually bothers you. I think you always say a, a, a drunk person speaks a sober mind. I, I mean, don't that's know what a lot that, of people say. I don't know if I believe. I think sometimes drunk people speak dumb bullshit that they don't mean. You know, like they just speak zombie drunks. Like, <laughs> speak. See you know? now, now I read uh, 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 Doctor Peterson, Jordan Peterson. He, you know, Is he he's, doctor. Yeah, Doctor okay. Jordan Peterson. Okay, okay. Uh, clin- I, he, I think he's a clinical about. psychologist. I okay. think. Anyways, he, um, his whole thing was, and he, you know, he studies all this shit, and he's a professor. He was like, no, people think that you're stupid when you drink. Like, no, what. People who are fucked up, you're not stupid. You just don't give a fuck no more. So what it, it lowers your give a fuckness, which I totally understood because that what happens. I told y'all the story. We for years, bro, years we would be out with the fellas, and we would see girls, and none of us would really go talk to any of them until we were fucked up. Once we were fucked up, you couldn't. We were that life of the party. Um, I, I got an argument to this. So last weekend, I went to a fantasy football draft in Chicago. There was a guy there. That was so fucking intoxicated <laughs> that Kevin, he went on the clock and Kevin offered him hundred dollars if he could just simply draft a player, any player, could be any player at all. Like here's your draft board, just click the name and hundred bucks. He, he just he was like looking at it like uh, he couldn't figure out how to push a button to draft. Like I mean, he was like brain dead. Is he typically not brain dead like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, okay. well, he ain't the smartest person in the world. <laughs> but he, goes, like, he started off drafting people and then he just like lost his ability. But to, he was like, belligerent. Yeah, but like literally couldn't figure out how to click a button. Like he'd be like, click on the whatever health app or something. He wouldn't be able to find it. Like he's like just oh, okay. brain dead. So I'm saying if, if so that's possible, then. Well, so that's, that's what they say. But I know with me personally with the drinking is we would get so fucked up. Then we would get the confidence to go talk to people. And for years, I'm like, why, do, why are we doing that? Like, who is this girl? Why, like, why are we so scared? Like, you know, and then I'll never forget Steve actually – all of the biggest moments of my life, Steve's been the one who gave me the real talk. That's why I fuck with him so hard. Because every time I needed to hear something that was, that was a little tough, that's hard to tell people, he always told me. And one of the things was, Scylla, I don't know, because I used to always say, no, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm better when I'm fucked up. He's like, nigga, no, you're not. I don't know who told you that? <laughs> because you are much more pleasant when you're sober. Yeah, like, I like you way more sober <laughs> than when you're drunk. And he said that, and I was like, damn. I didn't, you know, because, you know, when you're drunk, you, especially, I was like, right. I'm like the life of the party. And, and he was fucked up about the alcohol with me is I felt like I needed the shit. Which, I'd argue you were the life of the party when you're not drunk. When you were drunk, you would isolate and not be in a good mood. And I didn't even know. See, that's what I'm saying. I didn't even know that. Yeah. It, I could think of a hundred different examples of us in a partying situation where you might start for like a little bit and then you and turn then, over like, yeah, and then you're, like, in a, yeah. but then you're off to the side and you're pissed off and you're like, yeah. Remember when I remember when I was in the club crying, crying his eyes. <laughs> we were, we were, this is like one of our early Vegas experiences. We're in Vegas, bro. We got bottle service, and the guy I'll never forget. The guy comes up to me, you know, I, I'm, I'm, he's like, "Hey, man, we're gonna, have to, you know, we're gonna have to get your boy out of here." I'm like, "I'm like, why?" He's like, "We can't have a grown man in here crying." <laughs> he's just sitting there sobbing in the corner hysterically. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even know he was crying. I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Sobbing, just, vicious. I don't even. I'm just, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> Bro, this, so you know Vegas, you can walk around that bitch with alcohol. So I had a, a Jaeger. Yeah, you took the a, whole bottle of the BFC. dome. BFC. Just drinking it by myself. <laughs> Finished it. Both of them. Just yeah, out of my Before body. you go in the clubs, you try to like polish a whole bottle so you, you know. So I wouldn't be hit, hitting and the bottle could, too and hard. You couldn't. It was, it's hard to gauge that. Like, what, what's the right level, you know? So, yeah, you you go a little too hard and then sometime in the middle. And then, wait, and then the cruise ship. Yeah, the cruise ship. The cruise just ship. laying, flopping like a fish and screaming, crying, telling <laughs> me. Never, like, I do remember this. Steve goes, hey, Scylla. I'm like, I'm like, what's up? He goes, you're being that guy right now. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I, just, I, I was like trying to be good. I got a, I got a recording of that still. Oh, uh, so, so I, 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 I think I was stomach poisoned or something. I think I was close. That was the drunkest I've ever been. And I do remember, you tell this story a little bit better than I do. The, what part? The, part? the part where I was downstairs in the, in the room. Oh, yeah, you were in the room and you were like, and you just kept repeating yourself, and I'd, I'd hit come, and he'd be like, and you thought you were dying, and, and I tried to call Damn. the, I, I tried to call the doctor, and you were like, no, I don't have insurance, and I'm like, well, <laughs> I, like no, I, no, I no. remember <laughs> arguing with you. I'm like, it, if you're gonna die. The choice is you're gonna die, or I call the, like, and you still would want to not call the doctor because you don't want to deal with insurance. I, I, I couldn't fathom and that. I was, you know, yeah, you know, that's scarcity mindset. But I mean, you were, <laughs> you were all the way fucked up. Like, oh man, y'all, y'all, y'all been that drunk where you're like. Where you got the spins, and you and then you think you can like find that spot, and you're like, okay, I'm good. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and then you just start spinning just, again. When's the last time you've yep. been that drunk? He's like, shit, Damn. 76 days ago. <laughs> <laughs> like nine days ago. Nah, um, that'd be fucked up. Oh shit, no, fuck no. Uh, no, honestly, probably like. I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like, you're a pro. I was, and you're yeah, Irish. I got real fucking good at it. Like. Probably college, like like freshman year college. Actually, yeah, freshman year college because I got hazed hard as fuck because I played college across, and they made us. True story. To, no gay shit. Isn't it? No, 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 no gay shit. No gay shit. No, no gerbils no, true, in the true asshole. True story though. Like at, at, <laughs> at like one o'clock in the morning because I played defense. All the upperclassmen defenders come to our fucking like dorm rooms, bang on the doors, make us get up. Right? They take us out to the to the field, like the main field. And we're all sitting there in the fucking dark, like, what the fuck's going on? I thought I was about to get my ass beat or, like, some, you know, some fucked up shit. And they're like, the, our field was surrounded by, like, a little forest. They're like, all right, in the forest, we buried a full bottle of whiskey from last season. Go find it. All right. They didn't tell us anything else. They said, go find it. When you find it, yell that you found it, bring it back to the middle of the, like, the field. Went out there. On oh, God, I found it. Don't know how I found <laughs> yeah, it. Don't know how I found it. I'm just, professional I'm just drunk. digging around in the dirt. Like, found it, grabbed it, right? Brought it back. Said it. They're like, all right, stand in a circle and finish the bottle. Oh, shit. So oh, you the found whole bottle, you the whole bottle. The whole bottle. Oh, so we whole open whole. it. And just you? Just you or the no, whole, whole team? No, just the freshman defenders. There's only, oh, I'm about to say. You, there's only four of us, though. There's only That's four still of us. a lot. They said, stand in a circle right here, finish the bottle. You can't leave till you finish it. All right, finish the bottle, right? How long did it take y'all to finish it? Oh, we've put that motherfucker down. Probably like 15 minutes. Something like that. Disgusting, too. I'm talking like this the worst possible. Whiskey ever. They're like, all right, now come on with Wait, us. Like, shit it's the worst, fucking worst thing I've ever put in my body. <laughs> body at least bar. one year, one year reserved. Was, yeah, one year yeah, under, yeah, under underground too. Like, fuck. So then after that, right, they're like, all right, come on. We're going back to, to like our, our apartments. I'm like, all right, cool. Bring us all in. They said, all right, open this cabinet. We open up. There's four bottles, full, full bottles of different alcohol. There was like vodka, gin, like Everclear, some other shit. They're like, each of you pick a bottle. Boom. One bottle. And they let me go first because I was the first one. So I picked like some bottle. Like, I'm gonna say, I know you didn't pick that ever. No, 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 I, picked, like, I picked like the easiest shit in my fucked up state. And the, so I picked my bottle and my other three homies picked up, picked their bottle. They're like, all right, we locked the door, finish the bottle. You can't leave here until you finish the bottle. Second bottle. I mean, these are the ballsiest humans of all time. Yeah, that's <laughs> they, like, they sit, that's they basically attempted murder. And they're like, they're like, finish the bottle. <laughs> and you can't leave until you finish the bottle. So we're all sitting there like, we. Like we gotta go to class tomorrow. Like we gotta. Oh, we gotta so make, you could have technically uh, stayed for the next three days. Yeah. Okay. Like, but we, I was like, well, fuck. All right. So we start finishing the bottles, whatever. Halfway through, sickest I've ever been in my entire life. I'm saying, bottles on the ground. I'm on the. I can't even see. Like, I can't physically get up. I'm throwing up, and it's just like red. I felt like I was throwing up blood. Like all, all four of us, yeah. most fucked up I've ever been in my life. Like oh, I, that after that, awful. like I can, vodka. I, I don't drink vodka. I don't drink whiskey anymore. How can you drink again? Like, I, like that's <laughs> see, that was the thing. That's that's what's fucked up, and that's. That's what I attribute to, like, why I haven't felt that in such a long time. Because fucking, like, two days later, we got right, right back to it. And college, too. Yeah, and college. Right. But then after that point, like, it just started to spiral. Like, I left college, worked in the, like, beer industry. Drank every single day of my life. Literally every day got to the point I could drink a whole case of beer and be fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just 
You got that Irish blood. Yeah, you? I mean, true. I get, I'm also Irish as fuck, but <laughs> like. Still, like I shouldn't be able nah, that's to lie. like physically just be like. Right, well, well alcohol, the tolerance there. goes up. Like the yeah, more you drink, it more. goes up, and I, I was disgusting. That's, that's why I'm happy at, at this point now, where it's like, don't even, don't even touch it. Don't even. It doesn't even bother me. I've been to plenty of bars, and I, you know, I used, what's funny is I used to wonder how people could be sober, like in a club or a bar, and look like they're having the best time of their life until I became that person. Yeah. Now yeah. my ass, I've been to, I've been to multiple events now with people that are like, oh, we're doing it at like this club or this bar. I'm like, all right, cool. Like I'm gonna come support you, but. I'm like I ain't drinking nothing. They're like, really? I'm like, yes. Like, it's, watch. I'm like, watch. But it's free. Yeah. Some people, it is free. People are like, oh, but why? Like, it's my celebration. Blah blah. blah. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm celebrating. celebrating. Yeah, they're gonna have but, fun. Like, I right. I'm, like, I'm like, watch. I'm like, you know what? Just watch. Just watch. And at one point, one party I went to, actually, this was recently, maybe a weekend or two ago. I was in a, this going hard, dancing and shit, talking to people. You know what I mean? Like having a great time with a bottle of water in my hand. Somebody comes up to me and said, I don't get how you're still the life of the party, but you haven't had a single drop of alcohol Maybe you need to rethink your life and i, I just looked at him i was like exactly i was like just think about it and he like you know he, you saw the wheels turn i just walked away just let him kind of sit in it but yeah. i was in there motherfucker, just turning up having see, a great time Stone man, a lot of people need to see that shit because that that that's what's up because <clears throat> uh, uh, you were the same way we all were that way where you can't even imagine going to a situation where there's partying and drinking and all that and like you just think i'm just not gonna go then you know i like if, if i'm not drinking but that's not the case at all yeah well, really quick, because we, we're going to end up in this in a minute here. I'm going to tell you my quick story. <clears throat> about 2019, I think, I started seeing these videos about, you know, Theo Vaughn and Jordan Peterson, ironically enough, uh, about not drinking. And I saw the video, and then I kind of related to Theo Vaughn's story. And he was like, man, I thought that if I stopped drinking, then I wouldn't be as much fun. I wouldn't get no girls. That was a big one, the girls thing. And I remember thinking, like, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. I feel like if I if you're not drinking, then you're like, what are you doing, right? Uh, and then they had this great podcast. So then I was, so I came to the fellas, and I'm like, hey, why don't we do this sober November? Yeah. And and it was, and I remember feeling great throughout that because we all did mm -hmm. it. But the problem with that was I knew I was going right back that day one, right? So the idea wasn't to not drink again. It was just let's go for a month and see. But I remember, I, I mean, I felt really good in that month. Like, physically felt good. Skin, I just, I'm like, I feel good. My problem was so bad. And I had such a, because I don't know if I was, like, this vicious alcoholic, but I was definitely an alcoholic where if I was going to drink, I'm going to drink. I'm not going to, like, what, what's the point? I never understood. I never really liked alcohol that much to just have a drink. I agree. If, if we're going to drink, let's fucking get fucked up. That's the whole point of this. And then, because alcohol is expensive, like, now I'm trying to chug so I don't have to spend that much at the bar. That's where you got in trouble. And that's where I got in trouble. Then tolerance get high, now I'm drinking full bottles at whatever. Um, but it would get so bad, I would go on, like, dates and shit, bro. I, I would go on these. Yeah, I would go on dates. And because I was so accustomed to, I need to be tipsy, because I feel like I'm the if I'm not tipsy, I'm not having fun. That I would get like those little little one man packs or the little five dollar pints like or, whatever. or whatever. Yeah, or, or like a little five dollar fucking smearing off. You know, and I would just knock that out on the way to like a date with a chick, and then I'd have a good time, whatever. Um, so when when I we stopped when I stopped drinking in 2020, I had to get over that because I hadn't I hadn't had sex without getting drunk in probably five years. You know, it's like it's, sober sex is a, a trillion percent better. It's like it's not, not even it's not even remotely close. Um, cause, and I remember, I thought I did everything better drunk. I'm like, sex is better. I, food's better. Fun's better. It's just, it's, it's just not true. It's, it's yeah. none of that shit's true. That's just what they tell you. And, and, and that's coming from a nigga who really drinks. So I'm not sitting here. Like I, I used to turn like with the rest, like the best of them. Right. You've, done, you've been on both sides. Now. Been on yeah. both yeah. sides. And I'm telling you, it is not even close. It is not even close. That is the best decision I've ever made for myself ever. But more important than losing all that weight. To me, not drinking is is more important than not than, than losing a hundred percent. So, are you you forever or what's your? I know you've you, we've had like talks and you were like not sure. Well, so know? here's the thing. So here's what I'll say. The reason why I was worried about at first is because if I if I was to not drink, the reason I was drinking is because I was running away. I was running away from mm -hmm. being myself. Right. I didn't think I was good enough. I felt like I had to be. Remember, I told you I, I thought I was better. So if I'm not drunk, then I'm not the best me. And then when you very kindly told me I was a piece of shit drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so then I faced that. So then those first, so the reason I brought this story up is those the first few months I would go on dates or whatever, sober, and it was tough because I'm not used to that. So it's just you now. It's just you. And, and we're at a coffee date, not at the bar. 
And then I just got used to it and used to it and used to it. And now it's an afterthought. And now the conversation's better. Now I, I'm more clear. Now I can, I can fuck better. Now everything, everything is better. Literally, everything's better. My skin's better. I lost weight. People respect me more. My friends respect me more. Every, every, everything is a thousand percent better in my life without the fucking poison. It's, and listen, I'm not sitting here because I know a lot of people drink. And like, who the fuck is this guy? And I get it. But I'm telling you, it is not even close how much my, better my life is. And you agree with that, I right? agree with you 100%. And we used to get 100,000 percent. We Sorry. had fucking uh, alcoholic coke binges. <laughs> <laughs> I think it comes down to like again the, the people who don't rely on it and they just do it very casually and enjoy it. Like it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's not It is poison. Like so, you still can't you can't deny that. But like, but we I don't do see that being a, yeah, a, b- a b- big deal, right? Like, but but yeah, if you, but if you got if you know that the alcohol is holding and, you back in any way, that's so that's what I'm gonna say. And we're gonna end it on this. If if you know alcohol, and, and only you know this to yourself, if you know alcohol has, has kept you back from some of the things that you know you should be doing, you need to strongly start considering uh, probably the Cares None Be Dope Challenge and just go 30 days and just see, because I'm, I, I'm telling y'all, it'll probably, actually, no, it will 100% improve your life. Yeah, I, drastically. And I, I feel the same way about people who want to exercise but are telling themselves, I don't have enough time or I, I couldn't fit that in my schedule. Just then do it for 30 days. Give it a shot. You will find the time. You will find the benefit. So, you know, it's all about knowing who you are and what you need. But, like, no doubt about it. I, I was not in the camp with the trouble with the alcohol, but I was in the camp of, like, you know, I want to work out and I can't fucking figure out how to stick to it. And it's very simply made it very clear to me that it's very possible and very easy, as a matter of fact, to get into that mm-hmm. habit and that swing, and I'll never go back. Like, I'm still, like, I'm a week out, and I've done two workouts every day still. Like, I, it's, it's part of life now. Right. You still drinking the water? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, Boogie, where can they find you? Uh, uh, all platforms, Boogie, two, night. That's number two, not T-W-O, B-O-O-G-I-E, two, K-N-I-G-H-T. Follow your boy. All right, Rob? Lights out five. L E I T Z O U T five. All platforms. I'm not even gonna ask because you don't. No, no platforms. Yeah. I, I've <laughs> removed myself from all social media. Yeah, he's like he's he's winning, winning. <laughs> yeah. I'm only half ass winning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my whole my, my whole shit is on. I, I, yeah, I battle true, with that true. because I you can't help all it. my shits on social. I don't. I never posted anything, so right. all I did was consume the negativity and participated. In yeah, you were just banned myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, y'all can I find said that me to you the other night. Yeah. Y'all can find me uh, all platforms at Chris Cares None, and uh, oh, and check out the new website. Hey, how y'all oh, feel about the new website? It's, 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 it's coming cold. along, right? I fuck with that. It's, it's bouncy. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Hey, like uh, it. and I got some more improvements coming up. Show yes, sir. And as always, <laughs> cares none, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> all right.